Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I am very well, thank you, teacher, and you? I'm doing okay too, thanks for asking. How was your weekend? My weekend was very busy. Uh -huh. but, but I am happy. <laughs> Good, well, did you work? Yes, uh, I worked on Saturday because um, I have uh, a lot of work, but normally, I don't work on Saturday, only the Monday to Friday. Okay. Uh, are you the person with the funeral services for the funeral at home? No? No, I I work in a ONG. Uh, NGO. Uh-huh. NGO. Okay. Do you, how do you say? NGO. In, NGO, okay. Uh-huh. With the mayor and... Many youngs. Oh, okay, good, good. Are you a psychologist or something similar? Similar because I found uh, uh, the field employer for them, the field employees or field work. Oh, okay, good, 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 nice. And this is located in Santana, I imagine. Yes, it's located in Santana, but. Uh, the enterprise have um, other branches branches in, in other countries in, in other in other de departments states state okay all right good good do you ever travel to san salvador um is uh, sometimes only sometimes because for example tomorrow tomorrow i going to san salvador for um, career uh, diplomas. Oh, good, good, nice, mm -hmm. nice. Good for you. Thank you, teacher. Good, good. Hello, Rocio. Hello, hello, teacher. How are you, Rocio? Fine, fine, thanks. Good, thanks. good. Thank you you mm -hmm. were you were missing last week. The was uh, two days. <laughs> two days. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right. Good. Mm. So, how was your weekend, Rocio? Oh, very good. Very, very good. Did you work? But no, no. Only I. I was doing the the usual. <laughs> Go to the How supermarket, <laughs> uh, some chores at home. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Good, good. Mm -hmm. All right. Welcome back. Thank what you. is today's date? Uh, this, uh, uh, November 30. 30 or 30th? Oh. Uh, 30th. <laughs> yes. Yes. November 30th. That is correct. And what is the year? 2020. Exactly, mm -hmm. 2020. All right, so let's begin. Uh, Irene, were you here on Friday? Mm, sorry, teacher. Were you present on Friday? When you present on Friday, uh, where, teacher? Uh, in the class. Were you present? Ah, yes, I was present. Okay. Do you remember the activities we covered? I remember that um, we talking about, um, oh, let me see. I didn't remember. <laughs> okay. We were, we were discussing, um, reading aspects about the TOEFL exam. Ah, uh, it's okay. Right? It's okay. Uh huh. Okay. Do you guys read in English? I you? try to do it. Okay. <laughs> uh, but because I was reading, translating too much when uh -huh. I was young, I, I tried to 
to, okay. to, to lose that, that cost. To right, <laughs> right. Yes. Yeah, it, it's, it's not good to translate. It's not good mm -hmm. to translate. Remember that uh, there were eight traditional ways to mm -hmm. learn the language, including the grammar translation method. The, mm -hmm. the GTM was effective, but it took way longer. It took you forever. So uh, so the GTM, okay, the little boy is crying. El niño está llorando. And at some point, it is good to uh, combine Spanish when, when you're teaching, but mm -hmm. just for specific spots, not, mm -hmm. not all the lessons. So GTM was effective, was good, but it took way longer, way longer. GTM. Uh, grammar yeah. translation method. Yeah, GTM. Uh, GTM. GTM. Mm -hmm. Right. That's okay, wonderful. Irene, do you read? Yes, teacher. Do you read in English? Yes, I read. I read in English. I like it, but normally my problem is for, with the fluency. When I um, speak, um, is sometimes it's very difficult the fluency for me. But if you give me um, information, I understand very well. Good, good, very good. Yeah. So um, you know, the first week of the training. Uh, you know, it's to encourage you guys to read more um, mm -hmm. because the TOEFL exam has three different sections. Do you remember the three different sections? Mm, reading is one of it. <laughs> reading is one, exactly. It's one of them. What is the other section? Uh, listen. uh, listening. 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 And what is the section three? Grammar. 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 So the first part of the exam is listening. It's like 45 minutes. The second part is grammar. They give you 25 minutes. And the last section, the longest, and I feel is the most difficult, is the reading section. They give you, if I'm not mistaken, they give you 75 minutes to read between three or four different paragraphs. So you have to read, you have to be fast. And uh, at the end, they make a combination of the scores of the three different sections. And then they decide if, uh, if you pass or not. Any questions so far? All right. So today we start with the listening section. Now, let me ask you, how do you practice your listening skills? Well, in my case, I listen to short uh, videos for uh -huh. notice. Okay. And, yes. and also for... Um, a different uh, thinking for the specific person. Okay. And do I, I, I search a comment or a, or a, a news in order to, to identify different accent? accents? Accents. Accents. Okay. Because for me, it's very difficult uh, that the notice the difference for different a person when they is, is speak uh, fast. Okay. All right. What about the others? Uh, Irene, Jose, and Rocio. How do you practice your listening? Yes, I try to listen some movies in English. Uh huh. Okay. But, uh, but I have hard times. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All so right. My, in my case, uh, sometimes I listen uh, a song, uh, but when the, the lyric is very slow, right? Because uh, I can learn a new words. All right. I feel that this is good for me. Okay, good. 
What about you, Jose? Yes, in my case, I'm trying to uh, hear the news and uh, I, I'm doing a, a training in, in English too, but I, I didn't pass. <laughs> okay. Because I, 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 couldn't, I couldn't understand very well. Okay. And I, I will try uh, again too, because I have to pass. Sure. Sure. But it's, it's in my area, specific in my area. But I, I try. I, I am very happy because um, I understand uh, a lot for me. I didn't pass the exam. Good, good, I, good. I am happy because mm -hmm. I understand a lot. But um, I have a big problem with listening because some words I, I listen the same or, or maybe I can understand and the first time, so I have to repeat the audio or, or something like that for understand. Okay, good, good. Mm -hmm. All right, Erenia, how do you practice your listening? Mm, actually, uh, I try to practice by watching videos and now uh, the practice that I'm doing is by TikTok because I follow a lot of TikTokers that are from the United States and that's the way I used to practice. Good. What about you, Jose Ramos? Uh, how do you practice your listening? Hi, teacher. Hi, everyone. Well, Hello. Um, for me, I just trying to, to see some movies and some cartoon at home and watching some postcards and trying to understand as much as possible. Um, to be honest, I, um, I don't understand the the a hundred percent the word, but I mostly I just got the ideas that they are speaking. Okay, good. Yeah, so I mean, like um, television, movies, music, podcasts, speaking with another person, anything where you're exposing yourself to the language is good is productive. So uh, th that's good. So remember, uh, with the listening part, the audios you will hear, you don't need to have previous information because they open about, they, they talk about different things. They talk about two people in a library, uh, two people talking about a teacher's class. Uh, a police officer and someone driving, or I mean, any type of conversation where the only thing you need to do is pay close attention. So they're not gonna be talking about uh, the process of a butterfly or how uh, 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 something in the water becomes a frog. So it, it's nothing like that. So the only thing you need to have is good listening comprehensions. Okay, any questions or comments? No. Okay, so let me write something in the chat. Do you remember the differences between uh, authentic and instructional material? Who remembers these differences? Authentic material makes reference to movies, music, documentaries. Um, what is the name of, uh, of when they're explaining how to do something? Um, there is a word. Tutorial? Oh. That is similar to tutorial, like an induction, like an uh, inductions. So anything where the language is used in a natural way, that is considered to be authentic material. What is instructional? Let me show you instructional. This is... A, Sorry? This is instructional, a book. Teacher, yes. Uh, the instructional is like a derecho de autor. 
Uh, no. Uh, instructional makes reference to books like Interchange, Top Notch, Passages. Any material like this one, like this book here. So this book was made to teach English. It wasn't made for native speakers. It was for English students. Do you see what I mean? Like education? education? For educational purposes. Education. For educational purposes. Mm -hmm. So let me ask you, what is better? What is more effective? Authentic, instructional, or a combination of both? I think a combination of both. Combination. Right, right, yes. So you need to have a combination of both. You need to expose yourself to movies, music, documentaries, tutorials, inductions, um, but it's not, it's not induction. It, there is a, 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 another word, but anyways. So anything where they use the language naturally, that's authentic. Instructional is the book that maybe you use one time in your life, maybe interchange, passages, top notch. Uh, there are so many, so many books out there. Any questions or comments? No. No? Okay. So let's give a, a few more minutes. Let's start with the first activity that is related with uh, speaking. Let me see this here. Mm -hmm. Do you guys like to visit restaurants? Yes. Do you? Yes. Okay. Not too often. This okay. year, less. <laughs> okay. In this current moment, no. Okay. Uh, do you often go to the same restaurants or do you prefer to switch? Do you usually? Well, usually, when I I find a restaurant with the specific features uh, or specific needs, I and, and that is good. I am a a, a recurrent visit. Okay. But when when identify or other people recommended a new a specific place with the good uh, beaches or or typical food. I, I went. Okay. But if the, right. the meal is not don't like it, I never again. You never <laughs> return. at that place. Yeah. Okay. All right. So so let me let me send you a picture of um of these questions eight to nine p.m. Eight to nine. Where are you guys? Let me see. Eight to nine, eight to nine, right here. Okay, so let me send you this question so you can express your ideas about, your opinions about uh, restaurants. So breakout rooms, one, two, three, create, add a room. Here we go. Jose, can you hear me?
they had a, a, a selection for, for, for kind of food. And depending on that, ah, I choose the restaurant. Eh, excellent. Yes. Okay, the second question is, what is your favorite restaurant and why? Jose? Who's the first? Ah, my turn. Okay. Um, I like a lot the Olabetos in Tuxa. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. Hello. Welcome Hello. back. Thank you. Long time no see you. <laughs> Were you guys on vacation? No. No? No. Okay. Uh, did you receive the questions in the WhatsApp chat? No, because I didn't. I didn't enjoy enjoying at the join. WhatsApp. I didn't join. I didn't join at the at the, the WhatsApp group. The WhatsApp group. Yes. Okay. Are you planning to join the group? Yes. Yes, I okay. am. Okay. Yes. If you send me a text message right now. I can send you the questions to your number. Okay. If you I, wish. Uh, okay. But what about you, Walter? Hello, teacher. Uh, did you receive, I, did you see the questions in the WhatsApp chat? Yes, I received. Right. I, I, I have. Okay. I have it. So were you on vacation, Walter? No, teacher. Uh, last week I, I had a... Um, a uh, hard uh, a hard week uh, hard week yes so was that was tr uh, difficult to to be in. right oh, yeah it's uh and especially that some companies that you know like uh they are almost closing the year so yes it's more uh, work yes, yes. That, is, that is the reason because we are uh closing because uh, <clears throat> we are in charge of payrolls um and so the bonus that we give to the to the to the people right so right for that reason, so it's a little bit difficult because we are uh, ending all of the the reports okay what, what do you work mm -hmm. Walter? Uh, when uh, where where yes, yeah. uh, i work in uh in soyapango Sitting uh, um, approximate uh, five, uh, four kilometers to uh, before, uh, I'm sorry, after to Plaza Mundo. You're in the textile company, huh? Um, <clears throat> I work in a um, 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 maquila. I don't yeah. know the, the, the a sewing plant. It's the name. Sewing, the sewing, yes, sewing plant. Okay. Apparel Group uh, is the name. Impression okay. Apparel Group. Mm -hmm. All right. How much time have you been there, Walter? Uh, four years. Okay, good, good. Very good. Ah, yes. It's a, a, a reason. A uh, reason and price. Okay. Yes, I agree. Yes. What about you, Ceci? Ceci. You're you muted. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. The number, the number four. How? You are muted, you Ceci. You need to activate your microphone, Cecilia. Sorry. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> the, okay, the, Ceci, the number three. The number three is expensive. Chinese, I don't know. China walk or not? Mm -hmm. no. Yes. Uh, no, I, I prefer China walk than Panda Express because I think Panda Express is more expensive and the food is not that good as in the China walk. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you like expensive restaurants? Uh, I, don't, I like it. I don't, I don't like it. 
Carrie <laughs> likes, Harry likes expensive restaurants, but the the situation is not to to go to visit the, those places. Yes. It's not right. Okay. Right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, no, it's true. Mm -hmm. What do you okay. think, Ceci? Did you, did you bring us a uh, pollo bonanza? I, um, <laughs> more or less. But I agree, uh, I agree with, with uh, Norma, uh, because in the restaurant, in this moment, uh, on this year, it's very important uh, the, the clean, because the pandemia, for the for the pandemia um, in in a restaurant uh, is very important uh, the clean and about the uh, kitchen about the dishes um, be for the for the what do you say contagiarse Contag contagious Contagious, uh, uh, contagious um, of a virus. Okay. Okay, the number six. 
What kind of restaurant would you like to open mm. in the country? Are you okay with the restaurants in your town? Uh -huh. In my case, uh, in Santa Ana, uh, I like a uh, uh, local state house restaurant. It's, it's a, little, uh, a little expensive, but the, um, the food is very delicious. Okay. Mm -hmm. What, what is the name of the restaurant? Is Lover State House? 